Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. I am going to be doing a quick reading for, it's probably not gonna be that quick, it's probably gonna be kind of long, um, for our Twin Flame Collective. Um, I'm gonna read a little bit for Divine Masculine, then a little bit for Divine Feminine, find out how you guys are doing, and then I'll see if I can hook into a storyline that may apply to some of you. Now there's no way this is gonna resonate for every single Divine counterpart out there. But hopefully we can hook into one of y'all's waves. All right. All right. Let's say a quick blessing and we will find out how you're all doing out there. Ready? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every single breath that we take. We ask that you direct our hands, our hearts, our words, and our minds to work your will in our lives each day. And we ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. Okay. Divine Masculine, how have you guys been doing? Let's see. I want to use this Deviant Moon Tarot for you. Divine Masculine. Now, you know it's not about your gender. You'll know whether you carry a feminine or masculine energy inside of you. Some, most, All of us have both, um, but you're probably going to identify with one more than the other. Maybe not. You do you. So let's see. Ah, ha, ha. I just shuffled it, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Look at you and the tower under that. All right. And the Two of Wands and the Strength card. Okay, look at that. So divine masculine energy is the emperor, right? And the emperor is also Aries energy, but for all intents and purposes, nicely done showing up for yourself. Um, looks like something has happened. It's really shaken you up and it feels like you're in a new energy, um, wanting to start some kind of a new partnership in your life. Um, okay, all right. And it feels like you want to be with the right person. It feels like you're making good, healthy choices for yourself, Divine Masculine. You're done. Um, whatever this tower was, it has um, freed you up. You are no longer, wow, you are no longer worried about the things you were worried about before. You are not um, concerning yourself with the opinions of others. You are focused on yourself, your best self, your highest self. A lot of you have developed um, a very solid relationship with your higher self and your higher power. Um, a lot of you are letting go of... Um, Things that you had allowed to previously define you, um, things like image driven things, you know, now we're focusing on the right things. I have the high priestess in the reverse. Oh, okay. Hold on. Interesting. And the nine of cups in the reverse. Okay. Now some of y'all, this tower comes from you acknowledging some of the deeper toxicities that you've had within your system for a while. Some of you have been fighting addictions. Some of you have specifically alcohol addiction. Um, some of you have been in a state of stagnancy for a large portion of your adult lives because you were so focused on got to have the the, the the career, then I got to have the house, then I got to have the wife or husband, and then I got to have the family, and then I got to do all the things. And it was like, wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat. It was like over and over again. And it feels like this tower, whatever it was, um, and a lot of you may have been using um, substances to kind of dull the, I don't want to say the pain of everyday life for you. Some of you, yes, but just to kind of feel. Some of you were numbing yourselves so you felt you could feel, right? It sounds like the opposite, but it that's what you were doing. And no shade, no judgment. I mean, it's kind of like what we're taught to do, um, you know, media and marketing will do that to a person. Um, so it feels like a lot of those entrapments are dissipating from your life, Divine Masculine. Now tell me a little bit more about this tower in the reverse. Let me grab another deck actually. Um, let's use this, yeah, let's use this Tarot of Wonderland to clarify a little bit further about this tower. I, I feel like it's already happened for you. I feel like whatever it was, it's driven you to a new place in your life where you feel um, more like yourself than you've ever felt before. Ah, oh, I love it for you. This is great. 
tell me more. Um, you finally, well, a lot of you are learning to speak up for yourselves. You haven't done that for a while. A lot of you were letting other people kind of run the show for you, whether it was your parents, whether it was a partner in a relationship, superiors in your work environment, it feels, and I'm not going to say that you allowed yourself to be a doormat or something like that, but it feels like you really weren't speaking up for your wants, your needs for a long time, kind of brushing them under the rug. And eventually you got tired of um, chasing after this. Um, this Five of Cups, I love this representation of the Five of Cups. This is the Tarot of Wonderland by Barbara Moore. Um, but it's like no matter how hard little Alice tries, even when they get up there to the top of that table, there's not going to be anything for them. It's like you stopped trying. You stopped trying to make fetch happen. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I feel like um, some of you were have some of you have been involved in third party situations as a way to help kind of alleviate the monotony of your day to day life. And it was a life that you you did choose it for yourself in some regards. But a lot of you um, were pushed into certain relationships, into certain career paths because that was what you were supposed to do. And you found a, it, not so much heartache, but um, you couldn't see yourself anymore. When you would wake up and you'd look in the mirror, you just couldn't see yourself. You couldn't recognize who you'd become. And it's like something has ripped this Band-Aid off where there's an energy of exposure with, with, with the tower. But the tower is also about course redirection. All right, more about this in a minute. Still talking about this tower over here, Divine Masculine. Um, it's about course redirection because once that tower falls, the only thing left to do is to rebuild and to rebuild better, right? That's what we're going to do. So I feel like um, some of you had some things exposed about yourself to yourself, maybe to other people you were involved with, and it's caused you to make some changes and to be very honest um, with yourself and with other people about who you are and what your needs are. You are doing so well. I'm pretty excited. Um, so a lot of you are now in a position to start looking for a new partnership in your life. The two of wands here is a very, I would say it's a very lusty card because it's about seeking sexual partnership. It's about planting seeds for the future. Mm -hmm. um, and with this ace of cups, that is a new love relationship coming towards you. But this is this is a really important um, card because it's about self-love as well. And it's about you learning to vibrate at a frequency that is authentic to you so that you can finally attract an authentic partner to yourself. You may not have um, been, been able to do that before. You may have... Um, you know, we all grow, we all change over time, and we all attract into our lives what we're meant to have at that precise moment. But it feels like you have grown, you've outgrown a situation, and you're ready for something that is more um, authentic and representative of who you are, you know. And I feel like you're wanting to align with someone who is in that same position. A lot of you are doing very well financially. Yes, a lot of you are, um, you've achieved a lot of success in your life. A lot of you own your own businesses or your superiors in your um, career environment. A lot of you have mastered a lot of your challenging qualities. We all have them, but it feels like you're starting to take control of yours. Some of you are headed back to the gym. Some of you are getting into shape. Some of you are starting to feel better about yourself. There's an energy of confidence here. Ooh, I just love it for you, Divine Masculine. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups, Two of Wands energy. This, um, a lot of you have gotten um, prayerful about the next relationship that comes into your life. A lot of you have started asking for guidance, um, again, from a higher power saying, you know what, 
I haven't always made the best choices for myself. How about we have a Jesus take the wheel kind of moment and let um, a higher power kind of authorize who comes towards me? Nicely done. There's an energy of ma manifestation here. The three of wands is the minor arcana of the magician for me. And it feels like you know that the right person is right around the corner for you. Um, this is oftentimes called the Amazon Prime card. How much longer is it going to take? I know who it is, what it is. I'm just waiting for them to show up on my doorstep. Well, it might work out just like that, but you may have to try a little harder than that, Divine Masculine. You're very good looking though, so maybe it will work out for you. You get the Queen of Cups out here on its side. This is what you want. You're saying, I want someone who is going to love me unconditionally for who I am, and that's what I want to give in return. And for a lot of you, you have this and it's headed straight for you. I have the death card. For some of you, this is a Scorpio. This is Scorpionic energy. You've got Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio here. Mm -hmm. um, I've got Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's, there's a lot here, but the majors are Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Scorpio and Pisces. All right, enough, enough. Um, but a lot of you recognize that you are going to have to end um, significant relationships. Um, a lot of you have ended significant relationships already um, in order to invite this um, healthier love into your life. And I have the Hierophant that comes out with that. That's a card of marriage. Um, that's a card of traditional values. Um, a lot of you still want that in your lives. A lot of you want something that um, is going to last, something that's going to go the distance. You are wanting good things for yourself, Divine Masculine. And I feel like you're putting in the effort. And I feel like a lot of you are acknowledging um, the changes that have been needed to have been made. And also, you're making those changes. I can't say enough good things about you guys today. And I got the Emperor on the bottom of the deck again. Hello. Very good. All right. Let me slide you guys over here and let's talk about the Divine Feminine. See how you guys are doing. All right, Divine Feminines, let's use different decks for you. Let's use this traditional Rider Waite deck to start for you. I've got the Queen of Cups just splitting the deck right there. You're like, oh, I am your unconditional love, Divine Masculine. I see it all. Um, Okay, fair enough. A lot of you guys have been through a lot. A lot of you have been waiting um, for your, your match. You know, a lot of you are in the same, um, situation here, um, where you've been waiting on someone to, who is going to love you unconditionally, someone who, and I know that we can't, we have to have high expectations for the people that we are involved in relationships with, but we have to allow them to fail. We have to allow them to change and allow them to grow. That's part of unconditional love. That's really what it is. And we have to allow them to, change and to move and grow on their own sometimes. You know, that's part of it. Um, a lot of the divine feminines um, have been in a state of lack or poverty or separation. A lot of you have been um, on your own dealing with a lot, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of worry can be financial burden. Some of you have um, other people you're responsible for. Some of you are single parents. Um, and a lot of you aren't allowing very many people into your life. I've got the death card out there for our feminines as well. And there's so many repeat cards between you guys. I've got the four of pentacles out here for you um, divine feminines as well and the five of cups for you guys as well interesting your divine feminines you're looking for someone who to share your heart with but you're also looking for someone that takes charge um, and it's coming right around the corner for you you're about to be offered um, a new a new love relationship and you are going to have to make a decision about this love relationship that's coming towards you. Some of you have an awful lot of options in your love life um, to the point it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, you, I think that you are all so very beautiful. And I, I, I think that's true. Um, 
There are some secrets that you keep from other people though, Divine Feminine. Um, a lot of it has to do with um, what you've been through in the past. A lot of it has to do with, um, some of you are tired. Some of you are tired um, because you do a lot. You take care of others. Um, I have heavy Cancerian energy here and I've got the tower out for you guys as well. Okay, and I've got the lovers. And the Six of Cups, I cannot even stop, but this is where we're gonna stop here. Um, a lot of you feminines are gonna have a windfall of money coming towards you within this month. Either promotion at work, a lump sum um, bonus, or even an inheritance. Some of you are considering buying a home or you are buying a home. Um, there is just an awful lot of abundance in your life right now, and it hasn't always been that way. Um, some of you are coming from a place of, like I said, lack, poverty, um, whether that was in your distant past or in your recent past, whatever it was, it has caused a lot of stress, a lot of worry, sleepless nights, tossing, turning, that sort of thing. I just saw 1616 on the counter over there. Um, and you have been waiting on the right person and you haven't really let too many people into your life certainly not into your heart or your mind and you certainly don't seem to share much of yourself and what's really going on behind the scenes for you with very many people it's almost like you have learned to that you know a life of semi-isolation is what keeps the drama down <laughs> yeah the drama away um, a lot of you are very um, wizened and a lot of you have learned from many relationships you've experienced with other people. You've, you've learned a lot about healthy boundaries um, in the recent past and you've really started to implement that into your life and in your heart as well. Um, all right, let me get another deck here. Um, you do have new love coming towards you. And it's going to be a significant um, partnership with the lover's card and the six of cups. Um, this can be someone that you've known before, or this can be someone who is new, but you're going to feel like you've known them. Um, could be a past life relationship or someone that you, it feels almost like, like first love all over again. But for some of you, this is someone who's coming back from your past. Let's just grab another deck and clarify a little bit further for you. Um, I don't know what I want to use for you guys. Yeah, okay. Let's use this um, Star Power Tarot. Yeah, I have this um, Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which is about reconciliation. That's not going to be for all of you, um, but some of you will have someone from your past messaging you <laughs> because you are very beautiful. Um, most people don't know, Divine Feminine, how truly kind you are. Um, mostly what they see is the outside and the outside of you right now looks very good. Um, you're very well liked. You're very well loved. You're very creative. You may have, you may own your own business. You may be someone who is out and about in the public eye. Um, you may just have a lot of friends, a lot of loved ones. People want to spend a lot of time with you. There's an energy of like popularity here. Um, very much loved. It feels like you are um, kind of the ruler of your own destiny, as is Divine Masculine, because I have the King of Pentacles here that I didn't pull off the deck for the Divine Masculines, but I have the King of Pentacles here for Divine Feminines as well. Um, Divine Feminine, a lot of you have experienced a lot of on-again, off-again relationships, and this is one of the things that has caused you a lot of anxiety. You're saying like it's been a lot of drama. Um, there's the Queen of Swords again. Like I said, you, you're very wise and you've learned a lot from this. At this point, other people come to you for relationship advice because you've been through it. Um, the Ten of Swords is the minor arcana of the death card. Um, there's that Six of Cups again. Things are about to change. You've been through some pretty bad breakups as well. Um, 
there's this new relationship. I, this is the fool card that comes out here. It's, it's, it's due to you starting a new cycle of your life, Divine Feminine. A lot of you have spent the last few months closing out old chapters, paying old bills off, um, finishing school, um, just, just closing out old volumes of your life so that you can start the next season of you. And it feels like right as you begin this new season, you are inundated with love offers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know some of you are like, I don't think so, but uh, trust me, it is true here. Um, it's like an overwhelming amount. And Tell me about this tower for our Divine Feminines because the Ten of Pentacles, I've got the Ten of Pentacles out there twice for you. Um, there is some life-changing moment that happens for you financially or with a home. And this kind of signifies the beginning of a new cycle for you. Whatever this is, whatever this windfall of abundance is that comes towards you in a monetary way, that is your signifier that tells you that things are changing. The tower doesn't have to be a stressful, horrible moment every time. I just saw 2122 on the counter. Um, but it's oftentimes, like I said, course redirection. It's about... Um, now you can elevate to another level. Now it's almost like a switching of timelines for you, Divine Feminine. Um, it's like a whole new life for you. And that is what is opening up this doorway to all of these people, these new people, and even past people wanting to come back towards you. And I've got the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck for you guys, like almost in the identical spot. I think a lot of you are, uh, and I don't want to say afraid, but I'm going to say afraid of repeating the same patterns in your life. You've got the five of cups out here the same way that the divine masculine did. Like you're so done reaching for things that are never going to be for you. And I have the king of cups out there again. Um, let me set this aside. I want to get like a little storyline as far as divine feminine, divine masculine together, because I am talking to a divine feminine, divine masculine that um, I'm not seeing like them together. I'm seeing you guys living very separate lives. So let me see. Um, some of you may not know who your divine counterpart is. You may just feel like there is one out there for you. And a lot of you know who your person is, but you don't um, have much interaction with them for whatever reason. So let me get another deck. Let's, um, I want to use this vice versa tarot. Queen of Cups on the top of the deck. It's all about the unconditional love this week. Unconditional love and money. For divine feminines and there is that devil i noticed the devil was on the bottom of this deck too let's just go on ahead and talk about it because i i, I didn't want to i was like oh that's the devil let's put the that deck down and switch decks and switch storylines so we don't have to talk about it but i guess we're gonna um let's pull that out let me just put that aside here because that's gonna be important um let me finish shuffling this Okay, <laughs> for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, um, as far as the two of you together and coming together into a state of union, and of course, the ultimate goal is union within the self, right? Um, to have both your masculine and feminine present, um, and that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Um, but a lot of you who will end up having physical three-dimensional relationships with your Divine Counterpart, the the real challenge is going to be to not self-sabotage this yeah um because the devil is very much representative of the human ego and that human ego it gets real loud and it gets real big 
and it takes up the whole body, the whole mind, the whole heart, all of it sometimes. And it's real hard to see through that cloud of insecurity that it can put up uh, around us. And it can get really confusing for us. So just, just saying, all right, enough about that. What do we have for our Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Collective together? Um, um, for those of you who are in separation and you know who your person is, I feel like you almost have to stand up for what you want. Both of you do. Um, especially this Divine Masculine. This Divine Masculine Collective, whoever you guys are, um, you have allowed people in past relationships to speak for you. Ooh, I um, felt that one. You haven't stood up for what you wanted. You let other people's wants dictate your life. You thought you were doing the right thing. And look, there you are on the deck again, Divine Masculine. You've had the emperor out three times, you cuties. I love you. And you're very good looking, I can tell. <laughs> yes. Um, but this Divine Masculine is, is taking charge, like we talked about earlier, really taking charge of this situation. I feel like, and I'm going to say it again, and I said it at the beginning when we were talking about our divine masculines, I feel like this divine masculine has now put themselves into a position where now they're doing what they want to do, what is right for them, what their God is leading them to do, their higher source, their higher power is leading them to. I have the King of Cups. This divine masculine is very open to sharing their heart with another person. Not the best communicator, but very open to sharing their heart with another person. And this is probably more than you could say for a long time. Um, this divine masculine collective, this is for a lot of you, a lot of you, um, have known one another before this divine masculine, divine feminine collective here. I feel like I'm reading for people who know their counterparts, who know who their counterparts are, but they've been in a state of re um, separation. And the reason I say that is because I have reconciliation energy happening here with the three of cups in the upright position. Um, that's an energy of coming back together and having much to celebrate. You may bump into each other um, out and around town. I see 654 on the clock across the room. 654, it's almost like it's pushing you back towards one another. There's like an unwinding here and like a, a, a removal of, like I was saying, of that ego, of that um, need to control the situation, but also of the... Um, What's that called? That um, like image, fabrication of image. I can't think of the right word. It'll come to me probably like next Wednesday. I'll let you know when I come up with it. False pretenses. It's like a removal of false pretense um, from both of you. There's like, there's kind of like a bare nakedness to you. Like, not literally, but metaphorically speaking, like where you two bump into each other and there's not going to be, um, well, you did this to me and you did that to me or, well, I can't talk to you because of X, Y, or Z or like just, there's going to be a removal of any kind of ego that was keeping the two of you apart. You see how the, our little lovers are down here separated by this concrete block and this big scary devil. It's like you don't worry about that anymore. You're comfortable in your own skin. The two of you are. There's a lot of maturity here. I have the King of Wands. This masculine collective is now very brave. They see what they want and that's exactly what the feminine is looking for. This feminine has been looking for this very take charge, um, stand up for what you want kind of energy from this masculine collective for a while. Um, a lot of these feminines feel like they've been carrying a lot of this, 
a spiritual relationship um, on their own. And I feel like the Divine Masculine has finally stepped up. Not saying you didn't before, but I feel like the Divine Masculine had a lot of really tricky templates to undo in their system. A lot of templates that were placed upon them by family lineages, um, as well as like societal pressures. And I feel like that's being taken away. And now we have like... There's like a vulnerability to it, but it's like the two of you, both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, are so mature within yourselves at this point that you trust yourselves enough to make good choices about your life now. And you trust yourself enough to know what it is that you want. This masculine energy knows what they want, and that's what this feminine has been waiting for. So you may bump into each other around about town. Um, it may be at a birthday party, could be at a children's birthday party, could be at a barbecue, could be any place where people are coming together and celebrating something. Um, can be um, a work party, a going away party. <laughs> Fried shrimp, boiled shrimp. <laughs> Um, this, wow, okay, um, this meeting between the two of you, it kind of stops you guys dead still in your tracks. Um, it's probably going to happen at night. Not necessarily, but I feel like for a lot of you it is. It's either going to be in the nighttime or the daytime. <laughs> oh, I love tarot readers. Um, a lot of you may be bumping into this person in the summertime. I have the sun card out here. That's Leo energy. Um, I have heavy fire sign, water sign energy here. And I also do. I have all of them here. I really do. Um, but there is this, for some of you, this is going to happen a lot faster. Um, some of you, this will be happening um, in the coming week, weekend. Mm -hmm. Brace yourself. Um, when you see this person, it's going to be um, probably a very happy moment for you. And I don't know if it was always the case that you were happy when you saw this person. Um, it feels like there's a lot that's um, under the bridge, water under the bridge. Um, but at one point, it may not have always felt that way. Um, there's, there's like a forgiveness here and that's what that masculine has been looking for is this unconditional love, this forgiveness. Those of you who have known each other from past relationships, this masculine has been hoping for this unconditional love. Somebody who says, I see all of the things and let's not even, for, let's just forget it ever happened is kind of what they're looking for here and they're looking for someone who acknowledges the growth within them that has is very clear and it's very apparent um you're gonna see this you're gonna know this when you see this person and they're gonna know this and see this within you and i have the fool card out here here is our moment the fool card right on top of the fool card yep this is it that is the moment for our feminine that is that tower moment for our feminines. And this feminine, when that happens, <laughs> this feminine, this surprises me because for the longest time, it's the masculine who hasn't been able to speak for themselves. Um, but now it's this feminine. I'm just seeing somebody who's like, blah, 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 like kind of not sure, like maybe struggling with their words struggling to know what to say. I think running into this person may be kind of a shocking moment. Um, that's why we have the tower here. This um, feminine masculine, a lot of you are coming into a state of union here pretty quick, like that's on down the road here, but I feel like you're bumping into this person. That's what kind of sets things going. Um, I've got the empress that comes right after that. Um, this masculine is seeing this feminine as who they truly are as well. Mm -hmm. So emperor, empress, yep, yep. Divine feminine, divine masculine right here. Yes, indeed. Um, this divine feminine, oh, it's just so good, guys. 
you're both in such a state of stability, this is going to be so much better than it would have been had you met or had you been down this pathway 20 years ago. This is different. This is for um, a collective that may be a little bit older. Um, I'm looking ages like late 20s all the way through, all the way through. This is for someone who's already had at least one Saturn return in their life. That usually happens around age 26, 27, 28. It's um, someone who's learned quite a bit from their life. There's the King of Pentacles again. Just pull that out. Um, this is a game changer, This just this meeting. Um, this masculine may not have seen this feminine for a while. And feminines, you look very good. Some of you may be Sagittarius energy. Um, there is a rebalancing here in your life. And now we have the moment, this is the judgment moment, where we have to make a decision as to what we want to do next. Um, this feminine has reconciliation in mind with the Three of Cups over here. This masculine has reconciliation in mind with the Three of Cups over here. And I've got the star card. That's Aquarius energy. This is divine um, blessing in your life. This is what what I always think of with the star card is it's a it's a blessing or it's a unique circumstance. It can even be a challenge. It can be a talent. Anything that belongs to you on your life path, it it can't be taken away. And these are the people, places, things, situations, circumstances that you just know you have to have. They make you who you are. This person is um, a divinely guided soulmate and they are going to want to start something up together here. I have this page of wands. This ultimately begins as a physical attraction. Mm -hmm. What did I say? Y'all look good right now. It does, but it, be, it goes beyond that into something much more spiritual. And we've got the Hierophant out there. Some of y'all are gonna end up marrying this person. Yeah, it certainly ends up in a commitment. That's true. And I think that the two of you have grown so much. You don't care anymore what other people say about it. You don't care what other people say behind closed doors, behind your back. You don't care what people say to your face. You don't care about their opinions. You don't care about social media or gossip. Good. Well, that's good because uh, there's probably going to be plenty of it, huh? Yeah. All right, let me grab one more deck here. I've got the magician on the top of this deck. There's major changes. People are making changes here. And I've got the justice card here. Somebody wants to do what's right. Um, that's the card of Libra. <laughs> and they want to fix um, first their friendship with you. They want to fix that first. And then they want to attend to your romantic partnering and pairing after they fix that. Um, this is somebody who may have... Um, It may be kind of a funny moment when you bump into them. It's almost like somebody fumbles the ball, right? What was I saying? The feminine just like could hardly speak, right? Maybe that's you guys. I don't know. It's just like trying to catch the fish and get it back into the cup, right? We're back into the ocean. Somebody. You can't put it back in, it seems like. I, it, I feel almost embarrassed for you. <laughs> I'm very familiar with that feeling. I'm... <laughs> Um, the two of you are going to, so this may be, you may be meeting this person at a work party, a work event, um, something like that. Um, some of you may be put on a team with this person. Oh my. Um, some of you may be volunteering at an event where you're put on the same team. Oh, Never underestimate the divine masculine and their ability to make everything uh, <laughs> like a competition. 
I just have to throw that out there. Just expect that. And I have the Three of Cups out there again. Yep, definite reconciliation energy, okay? That's when it happens. You got a lot of threes in here. Mm -hmm. um, good, good, good. It feels like it's an outside event. Oh, what did I say? Competition. Um, this could be a sporting event or something involving sports, team sports, something like that. This feminine, um, like I was saying, you may have a lot of people interested in you right now. You may just be someone that like has a light over their head right now. Um, maybe your life is always like that. Um, but it just seems extra right now. And this masculine feels like they need to compete for your attention. Um, it, I guess that's endearing in kind of a nerve wracking sort of way. Um, this person wants to prove to you that um, this time it will be right. This person, um, some of you um, may wear glasses. Um, this person wants you to see them through different lenses than you've ever seen them before though. They want to, you to see them as as who they, they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they're gonna message you. Um, for some of you, um, this masculine collective specifically may have relocated recently. Some of you feminines too, because a lot of you, um, I, you do have this possibly buying a new home kind of energy in your in your space right now. Um, and a lot of you, this may come from that. You may run into this person at a block party or at a um, moving in party. And this is what changes things from a lack of communication or even being blocked digitally from one another. It reopens the gateway here. Yes, it does. And there's the king of wands again. This is somebody who says, I know what I want. And that's what this feminine has been waiting for. Nicely done, guys. There is just so much good stuff in here. I hope that this is your story. I really, really do. Um, yeah, yeah. Keep me apprised of any backyard barbecues y'all head over to and let me know who you run into. Um, anyway, thank you so much for letting me read for you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will try to catch up with you soon. Um, this is just so lovely. I'm so pleased with your progress. Looks good. All right. Catch up with you soon. Mwah.